Welcome to another video. Today we're going to be taking a look at the rear link doorbell and more specifically how we can bring two-way audio functionality within our Home Assistant dashboard using the latest version of the Frigate add-on. We'll also go through the new GoToRTC feature embedded within Frigate, how to add cameras in as a Home Assistant camera integration as well as creating a dashboard card using the Frigate card from Hacks. The Frigate add-on as well as the Frigate card has a mountain of different configuration options included. We won't be covering them all in this video. All we want to concentrate on today is bringing in the two-way audio functionality for our camera. All the links and code used throughout this video will be available within the description below. So the first thing we need is the Frigate add-on. So I've got a link in the description. So if you just go to that, it will take you to this page. You just want to make sure that the URL on your instance URL is the correct one that points to your Home Assistant instance. So if we click on open link and it should take us to the add-on store. Here it will add in the repository URL at the bottom. You just want to click add and that will add in uh, the Frigate add-on. You might want to refresh the page at this point. Once you've done that, scroll down until you see all the Frigate add-ons. We want the one on the far left, the one that just says Frigate. Just hit install on that and wait for it to install. Okay, once that's installed, uh, I'm just going to make sure that start and boot is enabled as well as showing sidebar. So then you can see that there showing on the sidebar. You won't be able to start it yet until we sorted out our Frigate config file. So I'll just do that now. So just go to any file editor add on that you've got. I'm using the Studio Code Server. Uh, I'm just going to right click and we want Frigate. YML, so it's uh, YML, not YAML. And if we just open that, so I'll just pop in a config file that I created earlier. So at the top here, uh, straightforward, it's just, just your MQTT setup. I've got a video that I've done before which shows you how to set up your MQTT broker within Home Assistant. So fill in all the necessary details there. A new addition to the latest Frigate is it has an embedded version of GoToRTC. This version of GoToRTC is an old version, it's 1.2. The latest version of GoToRTC is 1.5, which is what we'll need to use for the two-way audio to work within our Rio Link doorbell. In a moment, I'll show you how we can upgrade that from 1.2 to 1.5. Just remove these two. We just want to concentrate on this Rio Link doorbell. These URLs here I'll have in the description below. You just have to obviously change the username and password as well as the IP address to your camera on both of these URLs. And then below we've got the actual Frigate cameras. So again, just the normal RTSP path. And then the roles you want, so here I've got detect, record. And by default, I want to put in some global camera configs. So you haven't got to put these in every time you add in a new camera. We've got the tracking a person I want on every camera and snapshots as well, as well as record I want on all of my cameras with the same settings on each of those. So once that config file is all complete, just go to developer tools, check configuration, make sure everything is okay restart and restart Home Assistant and this will bring in our new configuration file into Home Assistant ready to use. Once Home Assistant is back online, assuming you had start and boot enabled for the Frigate add-on, we can just go straight into Frigate. You should now be able to see that our camera that we've added in is on the user interface dashboard. If we just head over to logs and on the top right go to RTC. You'll see here, as I mentioned before, the version is 1.2. We need that to be 1.5. So to do that, we need to go into the terminal add-on and put in a few commands to upgrade that to 1.5. Terminal add-on, you should just be able to go into the add-on store, hit add-on store and search for terminal and just use this uh, terminal at SSH add-on here. And once you've installed that, just go over to the terminal add-on um, first we need to do is change the directory to the config directory. So in here is where our GoToRTC 1.5 version or 1.5 build is going to live. So to grab that 1.5 version we need to use this command. And you can see here on the end of this command I've got GoToRTC Linux AMD64. Depending on how you've got Home Assistant installed this might be different. I'll have all the different variants listed in the description below. So whether you're using a Raspberry Pi or a server, etc., this may be different. 
But if we just hit enter on that, that's now grabbed the latest version of GoToRTC and put it in the config directory. And we can check that with the ls command. And we can see here, GoToRTC Linux AMD64 is in there. We just need to change the name of that to just GoToRTC. To do that, we use this command. And if we go back and check the files again, you should see that the name has now changed to just go to RTC. The last thing we need to do is change the uh, execute permissions. So to do that, use this command. And once that's done, for gate should now be able to utilize that new go to RTC file. So from here, if we go back to the add-ons page, open up for gate and just hit restart. And once that's restarted, go into the Frigate add-on, go back to the logs and the GoToRTC section, we should now see that the GoToRTC version is on 1.5 rather than 1.2. So if we go to the cameras page on Frigate, open up this camera, give it a second to load, and we should be able to see that the live stream works and the audio works as well. So where we go from here is we want to add this Frigate camera onto our dashboard with two-way audio enabled as well. We're going to need a couple of things here. The first one being the Frigate integration that we can get from Hacks. This will bring in our Frigate cameras to be used as an integration within our Home Assistant instance. So go to Hacks, Integrations, and then hit this Explore button at the bottom. Just search for Frigate, and it should come up with this option here. Click on that, and then bottom right, we'll click Download. Hit download again, and that will require a restart afterwards. But for the time being, we just need to go back, go to the front end section. So we're also going to need the Frigate card uh, added in as well. So again, go to the bottom right, hit explore, search for Frigate, and you should see Frigate card. So we'll click on that, hit download, then download again, and we can just hit reload. So just to make sure the Frigate integration is loaded in properly, we're just going to go to Developer Tools, Check Configuration, and we'll do a restart again. Once Home Assistant is back online, we go to Settings and Devices and Services, which will be all our integrations. On the bottom right, hit Add Integration. Search for Frigate. Click on that. It should auto-populate with this link here. And we can click Submit. And this will now have added in our Frigate cameras to be usable within Home Assistant. So we can click Finish. And if we click on here, we can see our Rio Link camera has loaded in. So we can now use this on our dashboard along with the Frigate cards that we just got from Hacks. So from here, we can go to one of our dashboards and add in the new Frigate card. I've already created one before, so all I'm going to do is copy and paste the YAML in. And as always, I'll have all of this in the description below so you can just tweak the bits that you want and the bits that you don't want. All I want to cover for now is the microphone button, which you can find within the menu section of the Frigate cards. If you go down to the bottom, find button, microphone, and we'll just need to toggle that button on. You can also change the type of button, so you can have it as a toggle or momentary button. So momentary being you have to press and hold the button to use the microphone and then toggle, you press to turn it on, and then press it again to turn it off. So let's use toggle. If we hit save, you can see now if I press the microphone button, the camera will now be using the microphone and to turn it off, just click it again, and it'll stop using the microphone. I've also got the mute and unmute button. So if you press that, you'll be able to hear audio come out of the camera. And again, just click it, and it will mute the audio coming out of the camera. There is more functionality to this Frigate card. So we've got the media viewer where you can see video clips of events that have happened. Same with snapshots. If any of you are interested in knowing more about this card, just let me know in the comment section and we can cover that in a future video. Otherwise, that's it for this video. If you found it helpful, leave a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel if you haven't already to stay up to date with all my latest content.